Good morning. It is 6.24 and I'm about to make some coffee and of course I got cats. I have to clean up. But I have to have coffee first. It's hot outside already. Okay, this is my coffee maker. This is me. Coffee cup. Gotta make my co-host. So I have to move this thing out the way because this is a tall cup. Get rid of the pod from yesterday. Get a new pod. You guys know how to make coffee. Oh, but before I brew, yeah, I do less than a cap full. Oh, that's way too much. I know you guys can't see that, but I'll show you. You can see, you see that? It ain't much. That's all a girl needs. Turn it on. I'm just waiting for my coffee maker to do its thing. Let me go ahead and throw this away. Yep, and I do about 10 ounces. So we're gonna let that go. And while I let that go, I need to go ahead and get my coffee creamer. I think I've showed you guys this before. So we're gonna wait for that. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get to cleaning. And I need to learn how to like, make it where it's it's sped up for you guys because literally got my paper towel i got this this is not really what's in here what's in here is what's in here i know i have bleach oh i have bleach and i have some lysol and i have to do this every freaking morning you guys because these cats control and borderline rude these cats you know so normally what I do is I wipe everything down you know what I gotta take this robe off yeah. I wipe everything down the sink. Everything. Coffee is made. And then I get my little ratchet spoon. <laughs> and I put like two heaping. I put two of these in my coffee. And that's it. Mix it up really good. Oh, it's cold in here. I'm loving it. I love it. Put my top on. And then I put co-host to the side because it is super hot. And then I finish up. Come in. And what I like to do is to um wipe everything down with the Lysol bleach concoction. I mean, I wipe everything down because you just don't know. You can't trust these cats. You can't trust none of them. None of these cats, not even your cats. I mean, I wipe everything down. These cats are so freaking sneaky. The last thing you want to do is pick up a silverware or something. That's why I got to keep my dishes down to a minimum. Because this fat cat, Chico, will lick every utensil. He'll lick it. And I ain't got time for it. Let's see what co-host is doing. It's just too hot. 
So once I wipe everything down, I go in with a bleach strip. And I know somebody's gonna think, is it that serious? Yeah, it really is. It really is because you just can't trust. Not to mention, I love this smell. Who is messaging me? I love this smell and it's therapeutic. And the last thing you want is for your kitchen, which is the heartbeat of the home, unkept because I don't know if you guys notice but that is my front door that's my front door so when someone comes in immediately they see the kitchen and my kitchen just cannot be unkept it, ju it just can't it just can't that's just not the way I was raised and I don't think that was the way you guys were raised now I do have a few dishes in the sink, um, just really Tupperware. And I try to keep one Tupperware face down in my sink because I like cherries. But now I'm just waiting for co-host to calm down. And I have my cup ready for tomorrow. Got some silver where I need to put away. I try to keep a couple of things in the sink, some of the essential things that I like to use on a daily basis. Let me bring you guys down here so you guys can see. So. I made a strawberry cake last weekend. Mm -hmm. But I like to keep a glass smoothie straw like in the drain. Of course, the um, straw cleaner. My smoothie cup. And I have a, my rice cooker lit. I'm about to put it away. That's it. This goes to my Instapot. And this is just some extra silverware. But I also like to take some bleach strips and a paper towel. I like to fold my bleach strip and put it in the middle of the paper towel and just wipe the sink off. Now at night, I just spray that bleach and Lysol concoction in the sink, trying to deter my cat from getting in it. And then it just keeps things smelling fresh. Right? I always keep a cutting board here because you just never know. And of course I have my we're for the cherries. And then, like this is just a box of my Amazon and Timu stuff. I like to go over the garbage with that same bleach strip. And that is it. That's really my morning routine. Oh, and I also like to um, light my candles and set my diffusers. I like the house to smell pretty good. That's it. That's all. I have a few things I need to bring upstairs. It is freezing. Let's turn it down just a smidge. But yeah, that is it. And then my area, my work area, since I'm working downstairs, 
I mean, it's ready to go. Um, mm -hmm. Co-host is getting warmer. Then the last thing I do is put everything away. I love a clean house. I love a clean kitchen. And that is it. That is all. I do need to wipe down my um, dining room table because, of course, I got cats. Um, and that is really it. Mm -hmm. I need to think about what I'm going to cook today. I'll figure it out later. I ain't worried. But yeah. And then normally what I do after I do all of this is I go upstairs. Once I go ahead and wipe down the dining room table, I go upstairs. I make up my bed. I wipe my bathroom down because I left my door open last night so the cats was in and out. So I don't know if they was in my bathroom just. So once I'm done with that and I go ahead and make up my bed, oh, I need to go ahead and water my um, Chia Pet. And once I'm done wiping everything down upstairs, I'll make up my bed and just kind of chillax because I don't have to start work until eight o'clock and it's not even seven yet. So I have a while. And I just like to listen to positive music and or a sermon. I love grace for purpose. And I do all this before I even start like my devotion because I have a devotion that I do every morning. Yeah. I need to go ahead and put the, um, the couch cover on my couch. I'll do that sometime today. And then... I do have a meeting, a virtual meeting today, I think at 1030. So once I'm done with my, um, once I'm done with my devotion, I get on my spin bike and I'm doing 30 minutes of that while I watch the Kardashians. Um, and that is it. So that's pretty much my routine. It changes every now and then a little bit, but for the most part, this is where I am and life is good. So I'm going to finish off co-host. I think by the time I do my five mindful minutes with you guys, I try to get that out before nine o'clock. My co-host will be a smoothie. So I'll talk to you guys later.